Love must be in the air. KGTR was there to capture the day between Mr. Chatterson and Coach Hunt. Let's see how it went. Waiting for my day and Coach Hunt walks in and right off the bat I was a little disappointed. I was really hoping that Miss Hammond was going to win. Well you know first of all I knew that I was going to win. I mean come on. I mean, there was like no competition whatsoever. Thank you. Well I was so excited when I found out that I won. A little bit nervous. But here I am. How are you doing? <clears throat> and then we're sitting at the table and this waitress comes and he's like hitting, she's like hitting on my man. I mean, does she not see me sitting there? I'm like, come on. So I had to like ask for another waitress. I mean, come on, really? Oh, oh. Well, just call her back over here and we'll see. Hey, waitress, can you come back? I'm sorry, do you know him? I mean, oh. No. Okay, well, I'm sitting right here and you never asked me if I needed anything or wanted anything. I'm sorry. Do you need me? No, I don't. Thank you. Matter of fact, um, I would like another waitress. Thank okay. you. I'm sorry. There's a really special place for girls like her. Oh, um, you know, this was scheduled for last Friday, but, you know, you stood me up and I was wondering, you know, what happened. I didn't get a phone call or, you know, a call or what, you know. I was here waiting and, you know, nothing. I stayed here for like an hour. What happened? I mean, is there someone else? I mean, if there's someone else, just tell me. You know, I can take it, you know, because I've been waiting for this all my life, and I just, you know, I mean, you really hurt me, you know, when you stood me up, you know, hit me right here. I just, I'm sorry, I just get so emotional. All right, right off the bat, she's talking about kids and marriage meeting her parents, I was scared to death. You know, you know, I am just so, so upset about this. You know, but that's okay. That's okay. We're going to make the best of this. So, so what are your future plans? Uh, I'm not too sure right now. Um, why not? Uh, well, you know, because see, when I was thinking, you know, I was thinking that maybe, you know, we can talk about marriage, you know, and, you know, talk about the honeymoon, you know, and just go on a cruise. You know, I've always wanted to go on a cruise, you know, for my honeymoon. So, you know, what we can do is we can discuss that. Wow. I mean, you're just going to sit there and not say anything? Obviously, this wasn't going to work out. So I decided it was time to go. She just would not let me leave. That woman's crazy. Okay, so we're like, we're having our date, and you know, he looked at me, looked into my eyes, and I looked into his eyes, and you know, then he just got on one knee, and he was like, about to propose to me, and I was like, oh my goodness, I was like, yes, yes, yes. You came, and I really You're about to propose? Oh my God, he's about to propose. No, okay. no, yes, no. Yes, no. <laughs> yes, I will marry you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yes, yes just have a seat, just have, have a seat, and we can talk about it. yes. Okay, well, you know, that's fine. You know, I know you're a little nervous, hey, you know, but that's okay. You know, you'll get used to it. It'll be okay. Somebody better is going to come well, along for you. I'm glad you, I really, I really got to go. Okay, but, but, no, but you, don't, don't leave. You know, just, just please, please don't leave. Don't leave me. Please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. You know, overall, you know, I think the date went wonderful you know it was good so I plan on calling him again you know so we can do this again I will never never ever go on another date with her again never <laughs>